Today's topic is pyrexia. Pyrexia describes an elevation in the body temperature above the normal range. Also known as fever, pyrexia is one of the ways our immune system respond in defending the body against infection. For a typical child, a normal body temperature is usually considered to be around 97.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 36.4 degrees Celsius, while the normal body temperature of an adult can be from 97 degrees to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Generally, fever occurs when the body temperature rises above 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius. Fevers of 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius or higher may be extremely dangerous and demand prompt medical care, as they are viable of causing convulsion, especially in infants, children, and old people. Fever can be categorized based on its duration, severity, and the pattern. Duration. A fever can be acute if it persists less than seven days. An example of an acute fever is malaria. Subacute if it persists up to two weeks, such as seen in typhoid fever. Chronic or persistent if it persists for more than two weeks, such as tuberculosis or HIV. Severity or height of fever. Fever can be mild or low grade from 100.5 degrees to 102.2 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.1 to 39 degrees Celsius. Moderate from 102.3 degrees to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 39.1 to 40 degrees Celsius, 4.1 degrees to 106 degrees Fahrenheit or 40.1 degrees to 41.1 degrees Celsius. Hyperpyrexia greater than 106 degrees Fahrenheit or 41.1 degrees Celsius. Pattern. Remittent fever. Fever may come and go with fluctuation in temperature at a regular interval, such as in infective endocarditis. Continuous fever. Fever fluctuate in a small variation of about 1 Celsius in 24 hours, such as in a urinary tract infection. Intermittent fever. Fever comes down to normal each day, such as in malaria. Intermittent fever is referred to as tertian fever when it persists for 48 hours and quotidian fever if it persists for 24 hours. Relapsing fever, fever that reappears after a certain period of time. Pelepstein fever, fever that is dominant in people with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Such a patient suffers from high fever for one week and low fever for the next week. However, debate exists as to whether this type of pattern truly exists. Causes. Fever can be caused by bacterial, viral, parasitic infection, such as common cold, malaria, meningitis, a malignant tumor, certain medications, such as antibiotics and drugs used in high blood pressure or seizure treatment, inflammatory conditions, such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or inflammatory bowel infection, alcohol withdrawal, dehydration, overexposure to sunlight, blood clots, food poisoning, a side effect of vaccinations such as those used for tetanus, use of illicit drugs such as cocaine, cancer, mostly kidney cancer, leukemia, and lymphoma, metabolic disorder, symptoms, sickness behavior associated with fever may include shivering, lack of appetite, a headache, sweating, irritability, dehydration, sleepiness, lethargy, inability to concentrate, muscle and joint ache. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosing fever is easy. The patient temperature is taken with a thermometer. A high reading is indicative of fever. Diagnostics tests such as blood tests, urine tests, x-ray, and other imaging tests may be ordered depending on symptoms and medical history. If young infants, especially those under 28 days, Fever can indicate a serious illness, and the baby may need to be admitted into the hospital for testing and treatment. Treatment. Treatment may depend on the cause of your fever. If a bacterial infection is causing your fever, the doctor may prescribe antibiotics. Antibiotics have no effect against a virus. Therefore, antiviral drugs may be used to treat certain viral infections. Over-the-counter fever-reducing medications such as acetaminophen, Tylenol, or ibuprofen, Motrin, may be recommended by the doctor. Fluid intake to avoid dehydration, which can worsen the condition. 
Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.